So you are one of those people who is involved on many, many levels. And I'm just curious to know, what is your, do you have a favorite hat that you wear or something that you just really love to do? Like if you had to whittle it down because you were involved in too many things and you thought to yourself, oh, I have to cut one thing. What's the one thing you would not cut at all? <laughs> That's a really good question, Colleen. Um, so, uh, you know, I alluded to earlier that, um, you know, a lot of my worlds have this overlapping um, sort of circles, concentric circles, right? So, so we, um, you know, what I really enjoy uh, is the health policy and advocacy piece that I do. And, you know, I did not, I will be honest, I did not intend to do this as a nurse practitioner, right? I, I thought I would be, a, you know, clinically as a nurse practitioner, maybe, you know, maybe, uh, uh, you know, become more involved in, in some leadership positions, but, you know, never as, you know, an executive director of um, a state nurse practitioner association, um, you know, never really getting involved with the national association at, at the board level. And, you know, I, I've, I've learned over the years and it started out, um, way back when blogs were a thing, you know, um, I, I started a blog, right? Because all I would see, uh, were, um, uh, opinions from physicians and there was no nurse practice. There were very few nurse practitioner voices that uh, that were out there. Um, and I said, I'm going to start a blog. And, you know, what did I know at the time? But, you know, I, I titled it A Nurse Practitioner's View. And, you know, it was my way, you know, to say, okay, I am, you know, maybe any, nobody's reading this, but at least I am putting my thoughts out there to the world, for the world to see. And, you know, this is pre-Twitter. This is pre-Instagram. So, you know, that was, uh, my method of, of really getting involved. And then, you know, things sort of, um, uh, you know, went, took off from there. And, you know, I was able to get more involved in the health policy discussions because it was something that as a nurse practitioner, I didn't understand that there were different rules and different laws in different states that really affected the practice. Of, of a nurse practitioner. And I said, you know, how does that make any sense? How does a nurse practitioner who say is educated and, and goes to school in New York and has a certain, you know, scope of practice, um, and decides to move to another state and what they were doing, um, a week ago, uh, in, in one state, now they can't do in another. Or conversely, now they can do something even more. So that really piqued my interest and said, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, as RNs, we have a scope of practice that is pretty recognized throughout across the United States. Um, but as nurse practitioners, it really depends on the state that you're licensed in. So that is my passion, um, is, is trying to, uh, have, uh, lawmakers and, stakeholders and, and anyone else who will listen to understand that, um, you know, nurse practitioners are educated and prepared um, to deliver the care that, you know, in our specialties, uh, family, adults, but, you know, uh, mental health, et cetera. And, you know, they, there shouldn't be an arbitrary restriction to that practice. And we know from different states that there are many arbitrary barriers that exist. So um, it is it is my health policy hat that I love to wear, um, you know, speaking with legislators, uh, speaking with colleagues, and trying to encourage them to get involved, and to reach out to their lawmaker, you know, that's, that's their, uh, uh, you know, that it's their uh, uh, legislator because they'll listen to their, you know, constituent rather than listening to me. Um, uh, so, you know, those are, those are the, uh, the, the things that I'm, I'm most passionate about and I'm happy to be able to continue to do that work. 